previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether? Connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this! Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other... This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time! If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything! We're going to get Eligard, get her to help us, and we're going to save the world! I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> Jesse, what to choose? So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Again, hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign, Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. You're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow! Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible! Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us?
much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, uh... I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm, you must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Of course, you might also want to hang on to it. Okay, sure. That would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. <laughs> Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Ooh, lava curtain. That is flashy. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? What am I looking at exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry friend, uh, actually just used my last one on this puppy. 
uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. Ah. Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. What do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my uh, bovine lava disco. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best. Machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores? Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do. But will I share it with you? <laughs> no, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Elagard's protege over here. And you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Which I will be, obviously. I told him I wouldn't tell you this, but he thinks you lack creativity. That you're not inventive. Because he kinda says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good dirty ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call him like I see him. Ooh, you are just ugh. Well, you know what I call My machine! Oh, my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh, no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. Hello there, I- Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, 
be astounded. Let your wonders be compounded. And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown, but now I am here and the cows are a-flying. Why are you doing this to cows? Oh, spare me the false compassion. Deep down in all people, there lurks the overwhelming desire to throw cows. Admit it! Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry friend, tapped out. notice you checking out my cowapult friend it's got an easy to use lever right there so feel free to fling a cow or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first <gasps> oh believe me he'll love it I've never known a cow not to like it especially the ones that survive it's safe right I mean I wouldn't want... oh I've never known anything so safe in my life okay Reuben it's time for a game Super Pig! Hi there! What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there! Oh! I just said hi! Much better. What can I do for you? You want to see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. Theoretically. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya! But if it's about getting into Elagard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. Hey, have you seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. So Elagard's trying to make a command block in there? I know. I heard that too. I'm actually not sure how I feel about that. I mean, there's no way we misheard her, right? Is that even possible? Can she make a command block? I wouldn't have thought so, but it is Eligard. As far as I'm concerned, she can do anything. Okay. I'm going to keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Something must not be right. Okay, 
That's a step in the right direction. Switch is on! That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam. Door opened. Switch is on! Okay. Good. Good. Wow. Here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. What are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. It looks like I can adjust the settings on this thing. <laughs> Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just... Speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them, but I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving. Lava curtain. That's awesome. Are those bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit.
This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Whoa, hi, hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jessie, she thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard! No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia! Olivia? Can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big. Loser. Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. <laughs> Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> I could see that. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm. And it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here. In my brain. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
good. This is so exciting. Terribly exciting. Has it gotten this far before? No, never! Is it destabilizing? you're back and we brought Eligard fantastic quick come on you guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone Petra hey guys how's it going I'm so glad you're okay Petra yeah I'm pretty stoked about it myself it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I can't believe you found us. This is amazing. You pulled me out of that Weatherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. And this is a problem? You bet it is. I will not work with him. Not after... Mm, well, let's not talk about it. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And 
why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were going to be here. That makes two of us then, but reversed for me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Boomtown. That's the name of Magnus's kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus, that's very... Sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. Little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? So what are we going to do? How are we going to stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. Do you know where it is? Can we get some? Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. 